So this story was a trip, man. Uh, this actually happened not too far from where I stay at, but I should have gone over there for this video. This is a spot you may have seen in some of my videos over in Irving Park. Irving Park is actually a pretty good neighborhood on the northwest side of Chicago. And uh, anybody who actually was looking to get away from the violence, I really recommend moving to that area. There's some cheap stuff over there. And uh, there's, you know, a few gangs here and there, but it's not like a, a big problem. But this type of incident, you know, crazy incident can happen anywhere. So there was a dude who was making too much noise with his car. And he ended up getting killed by a 20-year-old named Gavin Leon. So he was in his Irving Park home. This is according to CWB Chicago. This was last year. And he became annoyed by the noise of a van that was stopped for a nearby red light. So prosecutors said that he fired a shot from his apartment window at the van's driver and the shot killed him. Now, whether or not he actually intended to kill the guy, who knows? I mean, when the police came to investigate it, he, re he was recording it and he said, this is funny. With them recording the, you know, with them investigating the scene, he said, this is le legendary footage. Who would do such a thing? So, I mean, he's recording this right after he shot and killed the guy. Detectives eventually caught up with him. And the, the judge sentenced him to 33 years in prison. So the shooting occurred at Pulaski and Irving Park Road at about 11.30 p.m. on February 3rd, 2022. A guy named Ryan Ballbag, 30 years old, and two passengers were stopped for a red light near uh, Leon's third floor apartment over in the 3900 block of West Irving Park. Leon allegedly was annoyed by the noise from Ballbag's vehicle, so he fired around towards the, the van using a rifle with a green laser sight attachment, according to prosecutors. The gun jammed, but officials said that he cleared the firearm, reloaded, and fired a second round, uh, and one of the bullets flew through the back of Ballbag's head. He died at the hospital two days later. They said about Ryan, he was always smiling and just had the most wholesome and positive aura about him. Uh, they got a GoFundMe for him. I would like to think that in the end, this is how, that is how he would want us to continue on his legacy and memory. So this guy, I'm not sure actually what, uh, what ethnicity this guy is, ball bag. I'm not familiar with that uh, last name. I probably should have looked it up for this video, but uh, they, they said that he made the world a better place wherever he went and truly uh, brought out the best in those around him. And he still had so much life left to live. So investigators found videos and pictures on Leon's phone. It showed police at the shooting as Leon trolled Chicago police officers. He said, quote, to the cops, thank you for coming. Appreciate it. I know who we're shooting, too, he said in one video. So prosecutors said last year that Leon may have shot towards at least one other driver before killing Ballbag. Four days before Ballbag's murder, Leon posted a picture online with the caption, this N-word over here doing burnouts at 2 a.m. in the effing morning. So I shot at him. The judge found Leon guilty of first-degree murder and two counts of aggravated discharge of a firearm into an occupied vehicle. Back in July, according to court records on Thursday, she handed him 25 years for the murder and a consecutive eight years uh, for the two other charges. On Ryan's GoFundMe, they said life is, is short, so be sure to tell your loved ones that you love them today. Please be safe and continue to pray for the Ballbag family, and that hopefully one day the world can be a better, safer and more united place. So very sad man for him to die like that. So rest in peace to Ryan and um, this type of stuff is like totally random. But uh, for a lot of the kids out there, man, you know, doing this stuff and then recording this stuff on social media. I mean, I'm not saying that Gavin's a kid, he's 20 years old. Uh, that's, I mean, that's grown. But uh, at the end of the day, guys, that one second of fame that you might get, I promise you, I promise you is not gonna be worth it. So anyways, guys, uh, you know, be careful out there, man. I'm Beast Mode, your boy. Chicago News, I'm out.